Well, all right, Gemini's, Gemini's, that moon is in Aries, right? So when the moon moves into Aries and we're closing out this cycle, you want to remove any fiery ring of resentment that you may have, any kind of confusion about people, places, and things. Now, the rose-colored glasses have been removed. You don't need to be confused about anything that's source exposed to you. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards, Gemini's. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. I don't think it's going to be hard for you all, depending on who it is. It probably won't be hard for you all because you're mutable signs and you, you know how to adapt easier. You know, mutable signs do know how to adapt very easy to change. So I don't know that this will be too difficult for you all. But let's get into it. Let's get into it. Don't forget to pull your birth chart. I'm talking to you wherever Gemini is in your birth chart, even if you're on the cusp, right? If you're a cusper, I'm talking to you as well. Um... If you're on the cusp of Taurus or Cancer, I am talking to you when I say cusp. Or if you're on the cusp of there, check your birth chart. Uh, if you're also, if you're um, Chiron is Gemini, I'm talking to you as well. So wherever Gemini is in your birth chart or any of the houses, I am talking to you. Not just your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but wherever Gemini is in your birth chart. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. I'm going to give you the questions for the moon and Aries for those of you all who want to kind of sort of, you know, those of you all who really like the questions. First part of the deck is the four of wands. It could be a fire sign involved, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're feeling like it's just no longer your responsibility to hold on to certain things. It's just confusing. It's burned out. You don't care if they're obsessed with you. You don't you care what their situation is. Just stay away from you. Just leaving bridges burned and moving forward. Here we have the Seven of Swords here. Here we have the Seven of Cups. Here we also have the Six of Wands. Source is making sure you stay booked and busy. Somebody is obsessed with you. Here we also have La Luna. And then we also have the Seven of Wands, right? So he got seven, seven, seven here. So it's just saying to you, um, first and foremost, I'm going to keep you booked and busy and not burdened. For some of you all, you have new and exuberant love in your life. So you're back in the saddle again. But remember, Pluto is also retrograde. So Pluto is the planet of obsession, metamorphosis, death, rebirth, power, transformation. It's a regenerative planet. So while you're ready to get back in the saddle and move on from that job, move on from that romantic friendship, I mean, romantic relationship, that friendship, while you're ready to move on from something and you're ready to go through this rebirth, some energies are not. Keep that in mind, right? There are some energies that source is saying, take your power back. Now you're going to have to learn how to move with some strategy because you got some people out here that's on the low trying to pull you back into some stuff because... In their mind, their obsession, they feel like if they believe hard enough that you all are supposed to be together or they believe hard enough that they somehow can get you back, that that belief is going to turn into, they're going to manifest that belief, okay? So source is saying you need to be strategic in moving forward and not just kind of sort of, well, I'm just going to go along with their flow and then boom, I'm just back in their, you know, low vibrating, you know, whatever, so I definitely feel like there's some um, energies that, like I said, want to, you know, they want to, they want you to feel like you're being compared to people, places, and things. They want you to feel like, okay, you're going to, um, I feel like for somebody, and I'm saying that because of this card right here, I feel like somebody was trying to juggle you and juggle other people as if it's some beauty or Mr. Universe or Miss Universe contest or something like that. Like you got to prove to them that you're worthy to be chosen by them. You're not interested at all. You're not interested. If it's an energy that for you, you already know your worth. Sources like you're holding out for God's best or sources best or higher, higher power best. You are not looking to be human's best. You know what I'm saying? You're not putting yourself in that situation where, um, you're, you're, you wanting to be picked and chosen, you know, by energies that are very low vibrational. So you're letting source do all the vetting, do all the work. All you have to do is pray about it and be clear and concise in what you pray for and source will bring it to you. Sounds good, right? Cause it, it works. It works. So there is no competition. There's a seven of cups again, right? You've had a Kundalini experience and that's all you needed to see. You could have been dating somebody. Like, hey, we have the um, Ace of Cups. So it's just saying, you know, cast, don't cast your pearl before swine. Meaning that don't keep showing people 
who are showing you they don't appreciate you. Don't keep that's in your love relationships, that's your job, every, in your personal and your professional life, right? And so source is trying to tell you is like you are not a pick me. You're not a person who just I got to stay connected. Just keep showing everybody that please choose me. Choose me over this one. Choose me. Like me more. You know, that already happened in your family. You and your siblings, you and other family members where people, this one is the funniest. This one is the prettiest. This one is the tallest. This one is the smartest. This one is the this and that. Remember how it made you feel then? It made you feel like you were unprotected and uncovered. You're not doing that to yourself as an adult. Yeah. You're too emotionally intelligent for that. Here's the king of wands. So you've removed yourself from the rat race. You're not interested in people who, you know, want you to audition for a spot in their life. You are not interested at all. You're not like pick, choose somebody else. If it's between me and them, I'll, let me cut myself out of it. You don't even need to cut me. I'll cut myself out of it. That's where you are. I'm removing myself from it. So some people will see that as weakness, but a, a very wise person will see it as a strength because the source will bring to you what you want. When you, I, I feel like looking at your cards here, there are some people, you're, cha you're changing your, your lifestyle. You're blossoming into a person who knows how to be on the energy of things you desire to attract. There are some very wealthy people who never have to go to their favorite restaurant because their favorite restaurant will come to them. The chef of the restaurant will come to their house and their kitchen and prepare their meal and serve them and their guests. So it's just saying you need to be on a different frequency. Because if you're on that frequency hoping people choose you, they are determining your worth and determining your value. Source is saying, when you're talking about trying to create a particular life for yourself, you're not going out in search of anything. You are the energy you desire to attract. You are the energy you desire to attract. You all are incredibly smart. You know how to, you know, how to string words together. You are, you know, like I said, you all are very cerebral. Source is saying to you, in the past... You may not have believed that you can manifest your life, but now you're starting to see that you can. Look around you. You manifested that life. And I'm talking to, I don't know who I'm talking to, who's watching this video, but you manifested that life. So start moving differently. Start moving differently. Start continuing to blossom. Source is just taking you, source is saying you're all, you were on your way somewhere. You may have had hit a, uh, hit a, um, like a speed bump. But it's not a mountain. Don't go backwards to that. You may have even cried about something. You may have well, moved on and was a little disappointed in something like, man, you know, maybe they do have multiple options, right? But so do you. What you want is seeking you. And I see you getting married. What you want is seeking you. Because you, you have learned how to put yourself on the frequency of the very things you want to attract. Here we have the five of wands. And and so the energy now wants to reach back out to you. Whoever the energy is, Gemini, they now want to reach back out to you. They want to double back, but you're no longer available. So the conversation for them, like I said, you start now saying you can defend your decision not to um, move forward with them without even coming across as defensive. Your anxiety about something will be going away, meaning that somebody could really want to reach out to you soon. You know, um, here we have the nine of wands, but you're not going back to that person you used to be now that you're in the light about some things, right? Since we're starting out with fire, right? Fire connects us with in, um, inspiration, motivation, clarity, all of those things, right? Warmth, um, uh, assertion, you, energy, right? And so you're a person who's a go-getter, someone who's clear on your purpose, all of those things. And your light actually it, it motivates people's, um, mot I mean, it actually shines a light on people's demons, but it also shines a light on yours of not believing in yourself first, that you can attract, you can be on the frequency of attracting what you want, right? So if you say, I want to attract a certain amount of money, I need to meet that thing on that frequency. There can't be any doubt whatsoever, that it's attract, it's going to flow to you like water. If I want to attract money, love, whatever, I have to be on that frequency to meet it. There can't be any doubt in your spirit that it doesn't want you. Like what your money is coming to you like mama and dad, dad, or like, you know, love is coming to you like mama, and dad, dad, whatever it is you want, you got to meet it on the frequency. Here we have the ace of wands here. So I definitely feel like your third eye is open. Again, I see you back in the saddle again and moving forward and cutting ties. Here's the Empress card, right? So I definitely see abundance, potential fulfilled. 
um, abundance because if you were to go back and answering phone calls and allowing energy vampires to distract you, you're dealing with a succubus or incubus energy, by the way. If you were allow these energies to continue draining you, it will cut into your money. It'll cut into everything that you prayed for. It'll cut into everything, right? E literally everything. Um, and so that's not what you want. That's not what you want at all. So um, we have, yeah, we have, um, yeah, four and six here is 10, right? We have um, nine and we have seven, like I said, and then we have, have six of wands here. So like I said before, there's some energies that they are obsessed. They really believe that you are the one. This is the I believe sign. They really, really believe, you know, that you you are the one for them, right? They want to, cro they want to procreate with you and they'll try to, and if they feel like you want you know, to create a business with them or have kids with them or whatever the case may be. They, or if y'all already have kids together in their mind, or y'all thought about having kids at one point together in their mind, they are stuck on, I got to get a uh, Gemini back in my life. You better make it crystal clear. You are not confused. You left the circus a long time ago. You have already embarked on a new journey, right? This is where you're taking risk. You're, um, you're, you're, you're starting a new endeavor, a new cycle of your life. To go back would be putting you in a fool in reverse. That would be a, a bad risk and foolish. It would be straight up foolish. Here's the star card. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I see. I definitely feel like, you know, you are cutting ties with energies. And like I said before, you're, you're just moving forward. You, you're... you're you're hopeful. Your life is filled with bliss without that. Like I said, your your star is shining bright. We know that the sun is a star. And so the source is saying, source is the one that's cooking up something nice for you. So like I said, it, it's just not your bag to carry. Here we also have the Ten of Cups here. So this is source is putting you around a different group of people. Very mature, very wise. If, you're, if you desire love in your life, it's going to make it, everything is going to start flowing for you. It can be as social mixers. It could be, at, you know, places where, like I said, it could be just whatever it is. Like you like whatever it is you like to do that nurtures your spirit. Um, here we have the Queen of Cups. I definitely feel like you're pouring into yourself. So finding out what your moon sign is is very important too. But yeah, you could have been dealing with um, the root of all of this could have been the where all of this competition could have started with the fire sign and also an, and also a, a water sign. Those are the two energies that in the beginning for you and your family could have caused some kind of competition. Who looks better? Who was this? Who was that? It could have been you come from a family of beautiful women or very handsome men and you could have heard a lot of competition going on in your family. Like I said before, in their modern day, you're not be competing with somebody for somebody else's attention. So if an ex that you have kids with decides they want to be with somebody who looks different than you are, hey, let them have at it. It's not your problem anymore. Or they feel like they got more money or more, you know, smarter or they more whatever. Let them have at it. Remove yourself from the equation. You're not interested. Because you're meeting things on the frequency, you're in the frequency where you are right now. You're not, I'm telling you, seriously, you are not interested even if you were the one that were the chosen one in your own family where everybody said you was the smartest, more attractive, maybe you were the baby, maybe you were the oldest, whatever it is, you're just you're taking yourself out of that competition, right? You're taking yourself out of that. Here we have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Judgment card. We also have the Two of Swords, the High Priestess, Ace of Cups, and then also the Ten of Cups. Yep. So you're just trying to balance out your personal and your professional life. That's it. You're not you're not looking for you're not looking to be, you know, accepted or approved by anybody at this stage in your life. You're just trying to balance out your life. Here we have the um judgment card. This lets me know that um you've gone through a total transformation, Gemini, which lets me know that in the past you know, somebody may have tried to make you jealous in, in your family, in a romantic situation. Just how you're dating is just different. You know, you're you're weighing the pros and cons. This is high priestess energy. You're weighing the pros and cons. You're saying, hey, there's more than one star in the sky. 
people are attracted to whoever they want to be attracted to. But I feel like somebody wants to call you and tell you, hey, you know, I, I had some unfinished business or whatever. And if you decide to stay, you know, stay on the phone and talk to them and just like, oh, okay, not a problem at all. I was just wondering if we can, no, I've already moved on. It's, it's fine. It's I already moved on. I understand. I get it. I've already moved on. Is there any chance? Nope. No. Because people are starting to try to come back. They're trying to double back, right? But again, you're not tossing your pearl before swine. That's it. Just because people are just now awakening, coming out of whatever trance they're in, it's two types of situation in business and in love. Like I said, you've done a total transformation that you want to do business with people who, like I said, things flow. They don't, they don't, you don't have to over pour to a point where you get evaporated and confused about what's going on in their personal life or anything. It's just, it's just communication, right? Like I said, you've done a total transformation and guess what? Source is continuing to put you in spaces where things just flow to you. Like I said before, so take the blindfolds off to a source. Take the blindfolds off. Nightmare over. Two types of situations in particular it was a nightmare. And it all started with people comparing you to other people. That's where it started from in your own family between the ages of 8 years old and 14. That's where it is. Somebody compare you to the best friend, compare you to people in your family. All this comparison going on. And it's you versus you. So, but remember, water is reflective. So when you do the mirror work and you start realizing, you know what? It's just me versus me. Somebody's going to love me for me. They're going to want to go into business because of me. I'm just going to learn how to meet the thing at that, at that frequency. And that's what it is. That's how you're going to be successful. So somebody used to spend a whole lot of time overthinking this. Two and six is eight, looking for people's approval and acceptance, but not anymore. So you and somebody coming together, it's kind of the same thing. You all are creating at least eight streams of income together. So there's your wealth right there because y'all are creating books, materials, y'all doing all kinds of stuff. So you're definitely not sitting around waiting. To, uh, you're not a pick me. You're not sitting around waiting for somebody to pick you. And I do see you getting married. So... You know, after her partially being judged, your mental health being judged, people say that you are a firecracker or you're hot, hot headed or whatever. So the answers you seek are coming soon. You have the gift of telepathy that's transference of thoughts, feelings or ideas, whether they're intuitively, emotively or superconsciously. Document your day and night dreams. Somebody never stopped loving you, but should you double back for them? Y'all already know the answer. You're not going backwards. They want to call you, but they haven't changed. There's your answer. You are protected and loved. Their demon is a Leviathan demon. It's a demon of envy, and they really, really miss you. So get some fresh air, you know. Um, they are a changeling, the child of uh, demons, you know, who substitutes a human baby. But they are a python. They have a very lying spirit. They also are associated with nightmares that you've been having at night. Um, the first red flag, that's when you pray and meditate. First red flag. So, yeah, you're dealing with some energies that, you know, there was a union between an incubus, succubus, and a human parent. So, they have that spirit. They have that sex demon spirit. They have that spirit where they, they don't know where to put all that energy. You know, whatever happened with them that has nothing to do with you. Like I said before, something could have happened to them, you know, in their earlier years, long before you met them. That's not your problem. Like I said, you're cutting ties all together. You don't even want to have anything to do with it. That's not something you want to meet on that frequency at all. You don't want to meet that spirit on that frequency. Oh, we do have some more cards for you. Hold on. We got some more cards for you. So, yeah, let's see what else we got going on, Gemini. But, yeah, you don't want to meet that spirit on that frequency. See, all of that stuff fine, seems for all fine, well, and good and fun that you're attracted to them. They're attracted to you and all of that until you got something that you can't get rid of, and that's their demons. That's their demons. So, Source is saying, wise up now. At the stage where you are right now, you can have compassion for you and for them and cut them off and never look back. Because that's what I'm saying. I see you desire where your inner child can feel safe around them. And so, I don't feel like your inner child would feel safe around them at all. Because they would definitely transfer their temper, their rage, their frustration. Their confusion, they would transfer their narcissism over to you, all of those things. You won't even recognize yourself. When you look in the mirror, you'll see yourself shape-shifting. That's how many demons they have in them. So protect your energy. So here we have the Nine of Wands. Here we also have the Two of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and also the Queen of Swords. Yeah. 
Yep. Here we also have the nine of wands here. So you're very close to, like I said, source is cooking up something really nice for you. You're very, very close to um, whatever it is that you've been praying for. You've been praying for new love in your life. Meet it on that frequency. If you've been playing, praying for someone to create businesses with or whatever, meet it on that frequency. If you've been praying for a soulmate, meet it on that frequency. But remember, you want to be in spaces where things are just flowing to you, if that makes any sense, versus just, well, I'm not sure, you know, because like I said before, um, you got to recognize that your tens across the board. Creatively, your tens across the board. You're funny. You may be able to sing, play multiple instruments. There's a lot of things that you can do, you know, create. You maybe have books that you've written or something that you're thinking about creating. Whatever it is you've learned how to create, you're, you're a person that a lot of people, they want to align themselves with you. And so just because some people who have those spirits, all of those demons in their body, and they're not ready to, first of all, even identify. And that's the arrogance. They won't even identify that they operate in the flesh. That's first and foremost. And then, like I said, they're having nightmares right now. They're trying, they're, they're awakening from nightmares as they're realizing that you're not attracted to that. So, yeah, they're definitely they're awakening from nightmares. They would have been a complete, two types of situations, they would have been a complete nightmare for you. That's why your anxiety is going away because these are even some of your family members that you may have thought about going into business with. If you have ever, you know what I'm talking about, Gemini, there's some people that you may have invited to your house and when you left your house, you start noticing something very different about you just being connected to them. So, so it's just saying, yeah, don't even, don't even feel bad when you can't invite certain people back to your house. Here we have Queen of Wands. I definitely feel like you are, like I said, on your throne and you're in great spirits just because, you know, and that's what you're going to attract someone who is in great spirits as well. So go ahead and just continue getting your rest and vetting your thoughts. This is the Queen of Sources. Like I said, you and your person coming together are creating a very different life than what you left behind. So if you're a person that feels like you like your privacy and you're not all over social media and stuff, make sure in your prayers you're thanking Source for that in advance. Someone who is going to come out of their mouth and tell you that I'm private. I don't like myself all on social media. You know, I, I like us, you know, building our private circle of friends and our privacy and protecting our, you know, that kind of stuff. Then those are things that you want to meet it on that frequency. Meet it on that frequency where there's a network of people that's exchanging, um, you know, like supporting each other, a lot of ideas um, where people are supporting each other. So if you have... You know, and there's connections, you know, there's lots of connections, you know, in that. So sanctity through offering even the most mon mundane problem can become a sacrament. That's right. That's right. So source is saying I'm trying to set you apart, you know, from a lot of energies that will harshly judge you know, how you create and put you in different circles and very private and, you know, create the life that you want for yourself. Um, but yeah, somebody, I, I feel like there was someone who wanted the same things, you know, previously, but they didn't know how to go about have the sacredness of water, right? They didn't know how to protect their sacred water. So they just, you know, like I said, demons just running rampant. So confidence is key to your success. Confidence is key to your success, right? And so you operating in your purpose, again, sh uh, shine the light on other people's demons. And in this case, there's a lot of different types of demons of envy, demons of jealousy, demons of, it's just too much stuff. And they miss you. Yeah, they can miss you, all right? Don't call you, don't text you, don't email you, don't not, it's just too many. They like too much chaos and confusion around them. And with all this creativity going, you could have written 10 books by now. 13, I am confident. You are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. 13. Yeah, you could be dealing with an earth energy, Aries, Leo, I mean, uh, excuse me, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. That could be somehow significant to somebody where somebody is just, like I said, 
all types of demons running rampant. And, um, you know, so whatever seeds they plant, it's just, it's just all kinds of toxins around them that I feel like somebody is learning how to pick up, you know, those types of energies. But, um, I see you moving forward. Definitely see you moving forward and listening to your, you know, high priestess gifts, kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I am grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile can make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. Yeah, your kindness is what they would drain they would drain out of you. That's what they would drain out of you. It's this pure, clear water that they will drain out of you and then deposit their toxins into you. So you're definitely dealing with energies, energy vampires. But the, the, the sad thing about it is that if you don't recognize the shape shifting, they'll project something onto you where you don't even recognize yourself. You only you'll be afraid of looking at yourself in the mirror. People think that kind of stuff happens in the movies. It does not just happen in the movies. You'll be afraid to look at yourself in the mirror. And other energies that have worked really hard to flush out their water will recognize it right away. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. Here are the questions for the moon and Aries for those of you all who like the questions. So you can remove any fiery ring of resentment from around you, any part of you, you know, that resents the fact that you didn't see these things. How would you? How would you know if nobody taught you about them? First question is, are you struggling with low self-worth? Second question is, are you procrastinating? Perhaps stuck in a situation or a relationship at home or at work that you're not happy with? The third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back, paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking the leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, if you had known that you're fully supported, what would you do? And you are fully supported. You're supported by a lot of ancestors around you. Um, a lot of energies, like you, I feel like you have a lot of loved ones in your family that may have transitioned. And they're the ones on the other side that are saying to you, you're breaking cycles, chains, and curses. And there's some people who are obsessed with not wanting you to bloom like the flower that you are. I'm talking to men and women, Gemini. They don't want you to bloom. They would rather put, apply all of this extra heat on you to stifle your growth. And that's why you have to be just that determined to step into this new phase of your life and be okay. Not the rose colored glasses are off and just stay as far away from them as possible. That is what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.